Bonjour, my name is Papi, and today is the sixth episode of my Minecraft Survival Adventures. In the last epi- Oh, fuck. Ah, help me! In the last episode, I finished my chest room, and now I have something functional to store my items. Um, but in between episodes, there, something happened on the server, and that's the reason why we are at spawn right now. Uh, we had a little building contest, and I participated in. You can have a sneak peek uh, in your bottom left corner of the building, and uh, without further ado, let's start the music. As I said, uh, it was a building contest, uh, and uh, I finished second uh, for this pink clock tower. I had for uh, my place those uh, really cool boots that uh, allow me to have slow fall when I uh, when I fly or jump. They are called anti-gravity uh, boots, and uh, will be useful when I build um, because I, they also have jump booster two on them. Not only that, but uh, we have all uh, other data packs on the server that allow us to modify the weather of the server and also the time with this tower, um, as you can see. We have buttons that, uh, uh, with the price of a diamond block, uh, allow us to control the time. Um, I did the interior, but uh, originally, as you saw on the timelapse, there were another building, and uh, the guys, Nisema and Chupi, the, the original owner of this building, did a little note block uh, tune that uh, I conserved, and uh, that can be activated with voice buttons. So, credit when credit is due, shout out to them. And just uh, let's uh, get a look to the other participant uh, creations. Here you have the tower of the winner, who is uh, Aru. Here you have a little LGBTQ plus uh, uh, duck, uh, which have been made by Andical. You have this uh, cute little Yoshi's egg uh, made by Lily. And finally, this beautiful flower made by Nisema. Back to the chest room. Uh, actually, the chest part is done, but I still have a lot of work to do, uh, including making some annex to which will allow me to ha have a furnace, sorry, for instance, 
or a mass storage system for all the stone and the dirt. But first, what I wanted to take on is to make the hallway that will link my base to this room. Let me show you. Behind me, the stone is untouched and uh, I wanted to uh, uh, use this hallway to make a transition bet between the wood and the um, stone part of the base. That's why I wanted to uh, use some uh, black concrete uh, to make some uh, really dark uh, corridor. The hallway is done and uh, I'm pretty happy with the result. Uh, it uh, was uh, approximately what I expected. I wanted a uh, really dark hallway uh, that leads to a really luminous uh, room just to give an effect uh, to um, to break up from the stone pattern. And I think I really need the wall factor. I um, It's uh, really a grand uh, feeling when you uh, traverse this hallway and end up in the chest room. I remembered that I have been pranked uh, by my uh, dear friend Mami Barta uh, and uh, it cannot stay like that. Uh, I'm sorry, it was a great prank but uh, I have to clean it up. So uh, let me just do that quickly. I target locked almost forget <laughs> I almost forgot how the hub uh, looked like without the snow and the ice. I spent so many hours playing without removing the prank that uh, I just I was just used to it. Uh, but I'm happy to uh, get rid uh, of it. And uh, I do not forget that you pranked me. I will retaliate. Don't worry, mommy. Now it is time to do something that I really like to do. It is. It is. Can you guess it? Digging! Yeah! You got it right! I just finished to dig the space that I needed to um, to make my furnacery and uh, I am just uh, helping a friend here uh, to uh, get some sponge I will you will uh, just borrow mine because uh, he need to clear clear some water actually that's not the only um, bit of help that I will give him I he is uh, doing the nether hub uh, of uh, the server and uh, for this he um, started to dig all the bedrock above it uh, and uh, it's taking a long, long time therefore I am uh, willing to help him uh, digging. As I said the area is pretty big and uh, uh, that's why I really want to help him with this because I am used to break the bedrock with uh, the little hole that I made inside my base uh, and uh, yeah, I do not despite digging it, so anyway, uh, I can spend a couple of hours uh, helping him. Thank you, he delimited the area for me. But I won't do a time last for all of it because you already had one, uh, two episodes to go. Uh, so just I will just make a progress updates, I, I think. Une éternité plus tard. Well, 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 that's a lot of bedrock, but I'm running out of TNT, so, so let's get back to the base. The main advantage to have a base uh, which is quite near the spawn is that in the nether, uh, I just have to do a couple of uh, 
dozen of block, a couple of block, to uh, just get to uh, to the hub. First layer is finished. Three more to go, unfortunately. I am gonna. I am going to stop here because I used all my TNT and I already used uh, one and a, more than one and a half shulker of shulker box of sand. Uh, I I dug this uh, trench, which uh, is still quite a lot of bedrock, um, and uh, maybe I, I'll come back later. Now it is time to get to the. To the main part of this episode, which is uh, building the furnacery. I already placed the uh, furnaces, um, and uh, that's I choose a model that you you've seen everywhere. It's the Ilbango design, the 23 uh, furnace one, uh, which I doubled because why not? Um, and uh, just let's get to it. You you've seen it already. I am a fucking idiot. I just uh, I uh, stuck the uh, furnaces to uh, to the wall, uh, but the uh, furnacery by Ilmengo has something to go here, and it's <laughs> fuck idiot, 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 stupid, stupid, stupid. Ooh, shiny! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Moron! 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 Neat tweet! Neat tweet! What a twat! I am a genuine nincompoop! Oh, this one was great. I actually really liked the last one. I may have been dumb, but I finished it. Uh, let me just test if it works. The call seems to be working. Yes. Now for the stun. Hmm. Hmm. Do not seem to work. Oh my gosh! What happened? Where's the stun? What happened? Oh. Oh. Shit. This should be satisfying if it works. Yeah! Okay, I have a functioning uh, furnace. Uh, I know this one works because I just copied it right here uh, using Late Medica. And uh, now I just have to link, the link them both. I did the redstone part, I linked both parts of uh, the furnace. Um, and uh, I even did a bit of a maintenance door uh, that I can uh, activate to uh, access the, the redstone behind. Let me show you. As you can see, this is a pretty simple door, but I won't explain it because I think I will lost 90% uh, of you watching this video. But hey, uh, it is time to end this episode because uh, it's already pretty substantial. You have the time lapse with the big cock, clock. Um, you have uh, the bedrock breaking part, even if uh, I did not uh, show it entirely. And uh, you even have the um, building of the furnace and a bit of decoration. Um, so I think it's a good episode. Uh, in the next episode, I will build a shulker sorter. Little teasing here. Um, but hey, subscribe if you want to see more video. Leave a like if you want to show me your support. And don't forget to leave a comment and hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss any video. Au revoir. And it is time for the French struggle. Uh, you can have a sneak bit sn bleh. and uh, just lick uh, and just uh, less ice and the snow uh, covering it. Uh, hmm, that's strange. I am, I am start uh, one. I am. Uh, you you can you do. It is time to uh, wrap uh, wrap this uh, wrap out wrap it out.